NATO breached, nuclear labs compromised, and demands for cat girl research? You know how sometimes you see something so strange, you wonder if anybody slipped some acid in your fucking cereal this morning? If you had told me a year ago that I would be making a video on furries hacking NATO, local churches, and Project 2025, I'd have told you to shut your whore mouth and told you to lay off the fucking basalts. Self-described gay furry hackers recently disbanded after hacking Project 2025 for reasons of they didn't want to get fucking caught. <laughs> It's always better for them to quit and disband so that people don't snitch on each other and get everybody caught. You know what I mean? All right, the hacking organization SiegeSec. You can see from their Telegram page here, Telegram, the home of crypto bros, perverts, and uh, terrorists. So it looks like they got three main leaders. We have VO, Cry, and Kit. So as I mentioned, they recently disbanded. This is the announcement that they put out. Yes, this is a sudden announcement. We're planning to disband, to avoid mass publicity, to avoid the eye of the FBI. Quite obvious. I've been considering quitting cybercrime lately. <laughs> and the other members have agreed it's time to let SiegeSec rest for good. <laughs> In the past, I've tried quitting cybercrime a few times, and I've always been able to fully quit. Bro, he's so hooked. He's so hooked, dude. He's tweaking so hard. This time, hopefully I am able to stay away from it for my own well-being. We may not be a cyber criminal group anymore, but we will always be hackers and always fighting for the rights of others. <laughs> Within the last week, we have posted the last of our breaches. We hope that you enjoy all of it. We also have a couple more private breaches that have been sent to journalists. They'll handle the rest from there. The channel, all leaks, and our community's chats will remain open. Feel free to join. And it gives you a link to the Telegram and Discord. I would not recommend joining them. That's why they're blurred out. And um, yeah, it's probably not best to hang out with a group of cyber criminals unless you yourself are a cyber criminal. And then you know not to hang out with cyber criminals. We're gonna talk about the first of their breaches. We're gonna talk about when they breached NATO multiple times. We have breached another NATO portal for the third time. We were able to access tens of thousands of documents from NATO headquarters consultation, command and control portal. Unfortunately, due to technical issues, we were unable to automate exfiltration of the full set of documents. We could only get a couple hundred documents plus user info. Fuck every country supporting Israel, especially those in NATO. So this is why they're doing it, of course. Yes, they are absolutely not motivated by money whatsoever. They are motivated by m something much more valuable than money. Much, much more valuable than money. Ideals, crazy idea, the loopy think, all the crazy shit you can think of, that stuff. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. They posted the proof here. This is the NATO portal. Looks like they were able to get information stolen from 31 countries and leaked 845 megabytes of compressed data. The data is still available for download. I would not recommend downloading information from NATO. I would not recommend that at all. Probably a red flag to have that there on your computer. Probably not good. Moving on. SiegeSec did go on record to make sure that they knew that it was not about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This is retaliation against the countries of NATO for attacks on human rights, and then added, it's also fun to leak documents. <laughs> NATO is not the only target of this vicious, nefarious, furry demon cult of hackers. <laughs> they also hack local churches. <laughs> furry hackers spend stolen church funds on inflatable sea lions after pastor calls out Biden. <laughs> So they hacked it and they 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 went on Amazon and bought and bought a thousand dollars worth of inflatable sea lions and sent it to the church. These ne'er do wells must be stopped. These ne'er do wells must be stopped. I do want to stop for a second and say the cybercrime is not a joke. Well, it is a joke. Anything can be a joke. Anyway, I'm saying don't do cybercrime, okay? Don't do cybercrime. 
All right, no endorsement from Jervis. You do not get the Jervis bump because this next one, the Idaho National Laboratory, a nuclear lab that is, if you see right here, a part of the Department of Energy. Yeah, big deal. Um, you've got to, you've got to hear this shit. You've got to hear what they demanded. You've got to hear what they demanded. Gay furry hackers reached a nuclear lab to demand cat girl research. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> the hackers released human resource records then said they would continue to do so until their demands for creating IRL cat girls were met. Now that's something we can all get behind. Furries are fucking unhinged, dude. So they used a vulnerability that through Oracle to get in and it looks like current and former employees were affected by the data breach. The type of research they do appears to be nuclear energy, integrated energy and national security. So pretty fucking big deal. Here's the proof that they posted on Telegram. Siege sex Christmas gift has arrived. And all I want for Christmas is the destruction of the government. <laughs> The gayer the furry, the more of a threat to national security that they are. <laughs> They're fucking nuts, man. <laughs> this brings us to their manifesto. Their coupe de gras, their holy grail. Project 2025. Now you may or may not have heard of it. It's a conservative plan to reshape American future. If you're on the left, you fucking hate it. If you're on the right, you might like it. Who fucking knows? That's not what this fucking video is about. The final hack. Over the past seven days, we have released a hack every day. From NATO to Israel, we attacked many, but we have one more gift for you all. It's one minute till midnight, so I'll start the show. We hacked the Heritage Foundation. Uh, holy moly. <laughs> the Heritage Foundation is a conservative think tank in America among the most influential public policy organizations. This organization is responsible for leading Project 2025, an authoritarian Christian nationalist plan to reform the United States, per SiegeSec. The data included user logs, other juicy info, including government employees, email addresses, passwords, full names of every user. Signed, BK, do crime. Oh. Despite posting proof of the hack, the Heritage Foundation insists it was not hacked by gay furries. <laughs> Which you'll find out in a moment, they absolutely were. Which prompted them to speak back. Many articles, news stories, and social media posts about this breach have caught the attention of many people. One of these people happens to be the executive director of the Heritage Foundation Oversight Project, Mike Howell. Well, Mike Howell reached out to us. This is one of the most unhinged conversations you can imagine from Mike Powell and the gay furry hacktivists. They continued, Mike Howell reached out to us at first to ask questions to understand our motives, you know, why we breached his organization. And then he proceeded to throw insults, threats, and claimed our existence was against nature. <laughs> We have the conversation they had right here. Let's read it. But you know what? Let's do voices for each one. All right. Um, let's see. This is Mike Pyle of the Heritage Foundation Oversight Project. I'd like to chat. Would you be willing? to have a call or some other means of communication. Hello, unfortunately, I will not be able to call. I can only stick to text communication. If you want another platform, I'm open to adapting how I can. This platform is fine. What it is you're seeking or threatening. We want to make a message and shine a light on who exactly supports the Heritage Foundation. We don't want anything more than that. No money, not fame. We're strongly against Project 2025 and everything the Heritage Foundation stands for. That's why you hacked us? Just for that? Yes. It should be obvious that's all we want based on our history as a hacktivist group. We don't seek money. Okay, listen to me closely. We're in the process of identifying and outing members of your group. 
Reputations and lives will be destroyed. Closeted furries will be presented to the world for the degenerate perverts they are. You cannot hide. Your means are minuscule compared to mine. You can either turn yourself in or you can cooperate. None of our members will be identified or outed by your organization built on hatred. The only ones deserving of a destroyed life are those within your organization. You want to be me to cooperate? With what? Spreading misinformation and hatred? We won't turn against our own people. Your own people turns against nature. We will only accelerate the cycle. Nature has no defined set of rules, no authority, just like it should be. Human can do what they want, and yes, they choose to support an organization to harm innocent people. Why? How can you justify this to yourself, knowing you're threatening the rights and lives of other human beings? The people you hate could be anyone. Your friend, your mom, your sibling. God created nature, and nature's laws are vicious. It's why you had to put on a perverted animal costume to satisfy your sexual deviance. It's why you have to force to hide like a coward. You violated our rights and you broke the law. You have no standing to discuss such matter. The rights your orgs violates will be ten times worse than the crimes I've committed. You do not follow God if you use religion as a crutch to hate people. While I hide behind a screen to fight for my rights, you hide behind religion to attack the rights of others. Would you like to meet virtually or send an emissary to meet in person? I would like to be left alone without my rights being threatened. Are you aware that you won't be able to wear a furry tiger costume when you're getting pounded in the ass in federal prison I put you in next year? Such unprofessional language from an executive director. Would you mind if I shared this? I hope the word spreads as fast as the STDs in your degenerate furry community. Yeah. Image of a cat. Bestiality is a weird sin. It shows you've gone a few clicks too far in trying to satiate your deviant appetite. What's your opinion on four? My advice is that you get out of your mama's basement, iron your shirt, buy a girl a drink, and ask her out instead of Googling new deviances for you to fixate on. BRB, I'm writing a post about you. Would you like me to immediately post your docs publicly or tease it for a little bit first? <laughs> Whatever you prefer. I'm tied up with the FBI issuing a 2702 order on the social media that you weren't just for sneaky for your line of work. Screenshot of your Bitcoin wallet, bitch. Oh my God, you've learned how to look up a public history of a Bitcoin address. Good job, pal. I'm so proud of you. That's all we got for you today. If you enjoyed yourself, drop a follow. You'll fucking enjoy it here. Also, I stream on Twitch. It's down there. I need friends. Join the Discord. I love you guys. Kiss me. What?